a Huawei patent describing a path to two nanometer chips has just surfaced publicly, and it claims to bypass a machine everyone said was mandatory. The patent was approved by China's National Intellectual Property Administration in early 2025. Patent code CN191193-1758A. The company, Huawei. And here's the problem. Huawei doesn't have EUV, so how is this even possible? Let's start with the basics. High logic chips are advanced microprocessors built using super nano transistor nodes below four nanometers. The fundamental principle is simple. Shrink the transistor size, pack more transistors onto a chip. We're talking tens of billions of transistors on a single piece of silicon. More transistors means more logic gates, more processing power, exponentially more capability. Right now, the most advanced announced or pilot stage chips operate between 1.6 and 2 nanometers. Only three companies have successfully developed them, TSMC in Taiwan, Samsung and Intel. These are the giants, and they can continue advancing because they all possess one critical technology. EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography, currently monopolized by one company, ASML in the Netherlands. EUV produces an ultra-short wavelength of 13.5 nanometers, which is essential for engraving transistor circuit patterns at scales below 3 nanometers. This isn't marketing hype. This is physics. Without EUV, conventional lithography simply cannot achieve the resolution needed for sub-3 nanometer manufacturing. But EUV is just the entry ticket. These three foundry giants also have highly integrated R&D departments that enable them to produce high logic architectures with exceptional precision. We're talking about sub-3 nanometer transistor architectures like CIE or CET, plus atomic scale channel control systems where channel thickness is on the order of just a few atoms. And here's the critical part. A deviation of even one atom can damage the current flow path entirely. At these scales, conventional silicon oxide can no longer be used. Thermal leakage, current leakage, quantum tunneling, electrons literally jumping through barriers they shouldn't be able to cross. So manufacturers use special semiconductor materials like hafnium oxide. Dopant placement is approaching single atom precision. Interconnect systems can no longer rely on copper. They use next generation tungsten with higher resistivity. And all three giants utilize DTCO, design technology co-optimization, where circuit design and fabrication processes must be developed simultaneously, not separately. This is mandatory for sub three nanometer technology. Now here's where things get interesting. Huawei has a two nanometer high logic chip patent on record, and its details are only now coming into focus. But there's a fundamental problem. Huawei currently relies only on immersion DUV lithography, which is typically limited to seven nanometers and above. Their advanced chips, the Kirin 9000s, Kirin 980, Kirin 990, are all manufactured by Semike at older technology nodes. So the question becomes, how can Huawei design ultra advanced two nanometer technology when they don't have access to EUV lithography? How do you build something that supposedly requires a machine you don't have? Huawei's 2 nanometer patent is a special alternative approach designed to achieve 2 nanometer technology without EUV lithography. Fundamentally, it relies on advanced multi-patterning techniques, specifically self-aligned patterning, SAP. Here's how it works. This method repeatedly patterns substrates to achieve extreme density using DUV immersion lithography. You effectively split a single pattern into four to five sub-patterns to reach extreme resolution. Similar techniques were previously used by Samike and Lisuan to manufacture the Lisuan G100 GPU at the 6 nanometer node in 2025. However, Huawei's patent claims to achieve much sharper resolution down to two nanometers. This patent and system were developed by HiSilicon, Huawei's semiconductor subsidiary and core R&D institution responsible for designing Huawei's hardware technologies. In the patent, Huawei describes SAP multi-patterning using immersion DUV lithography. The process is conceptually straightforward. 
a coarse pattern is first printed using lithography. Spaces are then added to the sides of the pattern and an etch and remove process, edessa, removes the original core. This results in tighter spacing. The process is repeated four to five times, each iteration requiring extremely high precision and slightly different configurations. This enables the formation of highly precise trenches for metal deposition without EUV lithography. But Huawei must rely heavily on BOL, back end of line foundry techniques. The patent focuses primarily on interconnect integration, not front end transistor patterning. Huawei's interconnect system uses more than three metal layers incorporating advanced materials ruthenium, next generation tungsten, cobalt, and specialized barrier interconnect systems. These techniques concentrate electrons into extremely narrow pathways. Selective fabrication processes such as FSAF are used to ensure VF formation with high selectivity and hard masks, minimizing misalignment in dense BEOL structures. Material growth in BEOL must rely on selective area deposition, SAD, using hard masks, ensuring materials grow only in designated regions. This is critical for maintaining integrity during ultra-dense casting processes. Huawei must also employ GAFET or it style architectures, gate all around field effect transistor designs that provide superior control over channel conduction. Now, even if this technique can be used to build Huawei's node technology, it remains a stepping stone to close the gap with competitors. In reality, this approach is more expensive, less time efficient, and carries a very high failure risk. This patent does not mean Huawei can mass produce two nanometer chips today. It represents a costly, low yield engineering path to remain technologically relevant without EUV. Every additional patenting step is another opportunity for defects. When you're doing four to five iterations per layer, manufacturing complexity increases exponentially. Yield rates drop, costs skyrocket. Huawei's ultimate goal is clearly to perfect its own next-generation EUV alternative, specifically a laser discharge plasma, LDP system, which they are actively developing. If successful, this would eliminate their dependence on ASML's EUV technology entirely and provide China with indigenous capability for advanced chip manufacturing. So, here's what we know. Huawei has patented a method to achieve 2 nanometer chip technology using multi-patterning techniques with DUV lithography instead of EUV. The approach is technically valid, but economically and operationally challenging. It's not a miracle solution. It's an engineering workaround, expensive, complex and risky. But it demonstrates that alternative pathways exist when conventional routes are unavailable. The patent focuses on advanced BEOL interconnect integration using exotic materials and selective deposition techniques. It's an interim solution while Huawei develops its own LDP-based lithography system. This is advanced semiconductor engineering at the absolute limits of what's currently possible. And whether this approach proves commercially viable or not, it represents a significant development in the global chip technology race. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Quantum Silk Route. And if this helped you understand what's really going on, share it with someone who follows chips.